Hello guys, welcome to Forensic Extracts and today's topic is chapter number one of Forensic Medicine that is introduction to forensic or legal medicine and legal procedures. So please like, comment and subscribe to Forensic Extract for similar videos because I am going to discuss all the chapters of Forensic Medicine and all medical legal issues related to them. Thank you guys. Hello guys, so today's topic is chapter number one of forensic medicine that is introduction to forensic or legal medicine and legal procedure. So what is forensic or legal medicine? Is the application of medical or paramedical knowledge to aid in administration of justice is called as forensic medicine. Then medical jurisprudence deals with legal responsibilities of the physician like physician patient relationship, consent and medical ethics. Now legal process is in in our country first is indian penal code that define offenses and prescribe punishment for those offenses then second is criminal procedure code provides the mechanism for punishment of offenses against the substantive criminal law and third is indian evidence act deals with law of evidence it is common to both criminal and civil procedure now what is inquest inquest is an inquiry or investigation into the cause of death is called as inquest the two types of inquests are held in india first is police inquest comes under 174 crpc the officer in charge is usually sub inspector but not below the rank of head constable now second is magistrate inquest comes under 176 crpc conducted by district magistrate subdivisional magistrate or tehsildar it is done in some special cases like death in police custody while police interrogation Death due to police firing, death in prison or reformatories, boastal schools, death in a psychiatric hospital in case of Dobry death or exhumation. Coroner's inquest done in UK only. Some states in USA but not in India. Coroner court. Coroner's court is a court of inquiry but other uh, courts are court of trial. So this is basic difference between coroner court and uh, all other courts. Now difference between police and magistrate inquest the investigating officer who is doing police inquest is above the rank of head constable but magistrate inquest is done by district magistrate tehsildar or additional district magistrate all unnatural cases that police inquest is going to be conducted by investigating officer above the rank of head constable but in, in case of magistrate inquest all the special cases i just mentioned then warrant can be issued only by magistrate Magistrate can impose fine or prescribe punishment. Then exhumation is only allowed on recommendation of magistrate only. Then value. Obviously, magistrate is more qualified as compared to investigating officer who is conducting police inquest. So, a magistrate inquest is superior as compared to police inquest. Now, the court of law, civil or criminal courts are there. First is types of criminal courts. First is Supreme Court located in Delhi. The law declared by it is binding on all courts section 134 of constitution of india then the high courts located in capital of every state it's article 214 of constitution of india then third is session court located at district headquarters death sentence passed by it must be confirmed by high court and fourth is magistrate court so there are four criminal courts in our country first is supreme court then high court then session court then magistrate court and magistrate Types of magistrate are uh, basic three types. First is chief judicial magistrate, second is first class judicial magistrate, mm -hmm. and third is second class judicial magistrate. Now, in key power or uh, punishment, there is a difference. Imprisonment for seven years, prescribed by chief judicial magistrate up to seven years, by and fine is unlimited. And by first class judicial magistrate, up to three years, and fine is 10,000 rupees. By second class, up to one year, and fine is. 5000 rupees now what is summoner's opinion a document compelling the attendance of a witness in court of law under penalty on a particular day time or place for the purpose of giving evidence is called a summoner's opinion now conduct money the fee offered to or paid to a witness in court cases at the time serving the summon to meet the expenses for attending the court traveling or all, all other expenses 
the court is going to offer fee in case of criminal cases but the party who called the witness is going to pay in case of civil cases so this is basic difference between conduct money paid in case of criminal or civil cases then dying declaration is recorded by a police officer a magistrate or a doctor without administrating oath no cross examination is required in case of dying declaration it is having less legal value it is a sort of documentary evidence then dying deposition recorded by judicial magistrate or judge oath must be administered it is the court by the bad side cross examination can be done more legal value as compared to dying dying declaration and is a sort of oral evidence then witness kya hota hai a person who gives regard, uh, facts or evidence regarding facts common witness and expert witness two types of witness are there the common witness gives evidence about the facts observed or perceived by him based on first hand knowledge rule and second is expert witness a person capable of drawing opinion and conclusions from the facts observed by him like doctor firearm expert and all then who is a hostile witness one who is supposed to have some interest or motive for cancelling part of truth or giving completely false evidence is called as hostile witness now perjury defined under 191 ipc meaning is giving willful false evidence it is having five major components first is giving willful false evidence being legally bound by an oath by express provision of law to state truth being bound by law or make a uh, to make a declaration upon any subject makes any statement which is false or which he does or believes to be false or does not believe to be true the punishment is imprisonment which may extend up to 7 years for perjury under section 193 of ipc then these are important questions for written exam and viva differentiate between police inquest and magistrate inquest differentiate between dying deposition and dying declaration then hostile witness may ask about conduct money types of witness and definition of perjury meaning of perjury and definition of perjury all components of perjury now various mcqs from previous era entrance injury and inquiry into the cause of death is known as inquest then perjury meaning is giving willful false evidence then first class juvenile court are presided by first class female magistrate and what is dying deposition is recorded by dying deposition can be recorded by any of the above medical certificate is type is a sort of documentary evidence a written or documentary evidence conduct money in civil cases is given by the party who has called the witness but in case of criminal cases is given by court only if a person survives after dying declaration then it acts as corroborative evidence magistrate in case is not required in case of it is required in case of police firing death by death custodial it is not required in case of heart attack medical examination system is adopted in the usa it is not in uh, adopted in our country judicial death sentence in india is carried by hanging only so guys thanks for watching and please keep on watching and please subscribe to my channel thank you guys